In this week's edition of Plant Talk, it's all about preparing for your future garden. Here's some of the best practices on how to get a tree in the ground. It's a beautiful June day, let's plant a tree. Before you get going too far, make sure you take into account where your irrigation heads and lines are and your utilities. Oftentimes on a tag you'll read to dig a hole twice as big as the root ball you're putting in. If you've got good soil, I think you can avoid that step. I actually only go about six inches on each side of the container. Over the years, research has shown that most trees are planted too deep, so that's one of the main considerations. Once we get this out of the container, I'm gonna show you what to look for to get the proper height. So what we're looking for, this plant was a little too deep in the container, so gently start pulling some soil back. And what we're looking for, we want to get this crown area where that top tap root is a little bit above ground. You can see how it's starting to get a little bit wider right in here. Container growing is so great because we can plant all season, but you can get some of the circular roots. You want to break those away from the container. So as you'll notice, it's a little bit of back and forth to get the right height, but what I'm shooting for is to have this just a one or two inches above ground. So once you backfill just a little bit, it's a little easier to get your tree good and straight. Our final step is to drive in a couple fence posts, strap it up to help protect it from the wind. We'll see you again next time on Plant Talk. And you can catch Plant Talk every Monday at this time here and on our KX News website, kxnet.com. Now here's a last look at your